Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our video today. This is all about converting an HDMI video input going through a LAN cable, receiving it to the other end, convert it back to HDMI um, a video, then display it to multiple devices. We did this one about two years ago. I had a project on a gymnasium wherein we need to have multiple devices. I was looking to my things yesterday, found this device. So I want to show it to you and give you the concept because one day you might need this one, especially for maybe churches, bigger bigger kind of scenarios that you need to work on, okay? Let's get into my screen so that I'm going to give you a concept of what we achieve that time, okay? This is a simple kind of analogy where we need to set up. So live feed will be coming from the back of the gym this, this gym can hold up to 2,500 people, so imagine how big this is. Then here on the front, uh, there will be audience here because this is a stage. Then we need to project the video feed on a bigger projector here, high-end projector that needs to be seen by thousands of people here. Then another on the right side so that people can see it as well. Then in the center, they choose to see it on the left or on the right. So again, the audience here needs some display also at the back so that they can see what's being displayed for everybody. So the distance from this place, this spot going to the front is around 85 to 90 meters. So that's good enough to be covered by a cable, a LAN cable or Ethernet cable. So what we did here, guys, on my next screen here, this is how it looks like. This is the live video feed, HDMI cable going to the HDMI to LAN sender. This is that device where we're going to open later. I'm going to demonstrate to you how we're going to use it. Then this will go Ethernet cable going to a network switch. So of course you need to have a network switch that you're going to plug the cable and then Ethernet cable going to LAN to HDMI device. So I'm going to open this one guys um, so I can show you. There are two devices, okay? So we have the sender. This is the sender, okay? And of course, we have the receiver, okay? Yeah, that's the receiver. And it says it's going to go 100 meters. You're going to get a closer look. We have the LAN here, LAN, and then we have the HDMI as the input. Okay, then we have the power cables. I'm going to show you a closer look later on. Now, the thing here is we, if you're going to buy this device, they come in pairs, one sender, one receiver. But in this kind of scenario, if you want multiple devices, then um, a lot of sender will, be, uh, will not be usable because you only need one sender, then you're going to receive, uh, you're going to use each receiver one two three four so i will have three i will have three extra senders because it's not going to be used so one to four connection so again from hdmi to lan sender device it will be ethernet cable going to a network switch so that we can um, distribute this one to every single device then as you can see on my diagram here we are going to use hdmi cable going to the projector going to the monitor going to the monitor and going to the projector okay so that's the goal it has been working two years right now never had never had some issues with it so good device now i'm going to show you how we're going to do it of course so we have already opened this device this is hdmi extender to lan okay now this is your receiver 100 meters that's the lan and that's the HDMI and then the power power input, okay? So the same, this is marked as the sender. So they have marked the HDMI, then we have the LAN. Now, this device can go full HD 1080p. You can, uh, we have it here. I don't know if you can read that. Okay, so that's the HDMI cable, okay? And I'm going to input this one from my laptop going to the sender. So this will send the video feed going to this monitor. We're going to use this one, okay? And um, of course I'm going to plug that. We need to plug this one to the power outlet. 
I'll power this one on. Then, okay, just imagine that both of these devices are per se a hundred meters away, okay? So you will do it like that. Then I need to power on the other device, this one. So I'm going to plug this cable here. And then another cable at the receiver end. Take note here, guys, is I'm not going to set up any IP configuration. These are kind of plug and play setup. You don't need IP configuration with these devices. Then, where's the monitor? There you go. As you can see, this is the cable that comes from my laptop here. Going through the LAN here, through this cable. So imagine this is 100 meters. Then it will go to the receiver. Then it will go through the HDMI cable going through this monitor. Okay. I hope you can see that. Now, take note again. If you try to see my diagram, um, this is straight from one device to another device. But um, if you want to have multiple devices like the project we did two years ago, then you need to have a network switch, uh, receivers here, one, two, three, four, that will receive that one and convert it to a video feed. Now, one more thing to take note here, I did not set up any IP address. You, did, you do not need a router to give you IP address or you don't need to go in statically or manually input IP address here. These are plug and play devices. I hope you have learned something from my video guys. If you have any questions, feel free to um, comment down below, ask some questions. I'm, if I can read them, then I'm going to respond back. And if you want to find these devices, I have an Amazon link down below. Um, better check it out if you want to have these devices. Okay, so see you in my next video, guys.